Okay, so multi-select picklist fields look like this. They're stored as semicolon delimited single strings. When you click on them to edit, you get a dual list box so that you can select multiple values. The values themselves are established on the field definition. So if we go take a look at the field definition for this field called fruit, you can see that there are these five available values. And Flow has never been very good at manipulating multi-select pick list fields, but we've got a new action here called manage multi-select field. Let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is check for the presence of a check for what, a, a given value and see if it's selected or not. So let's go see if strawberry is selected. And this is telling me false. Is that the case? Let's go back here. Uh, that is correct. Pear, on the other hand, is selected. Let's see if we say I want to find out. If pair is selected, then my flow returns true. Okay, that sounds good. Now let's 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 select an additional value. So let's say we want to uh, we want to make strawberry one of the selected values, and you can see here that it has been added. And if we go here and refresh, see that strawberry is there. Now let's remove one. Why don't we take apple out? And you can see that apple is no longer a selected value. It's still available uh, in the as an output. The outputs provide both the selected values and the, just the total list of available values because that can be useful. Getting these in the form of a list of strings allows you to pass them downstream to something like a quick choice and put them into pick lists or iterate over them using loops. Um, so lots of capabilities there. Let's take a closer look at the inputs and the outputs of this action. You first start by specifying what kind of object you're working with. Because we're passing in a specific record in some of these use cases, we have to specify the object up here in our dynamic type mapping. And later, we have to actually specify it a second time, which is kind of annoying. Um, but we specify the object and the field right here. If you want to carry out one of the three operations, add, remove, or check, uh, then you specify that right here in this desired action field. You pass in a specific record, uh, and you optionally can pass in a target value to take action on. You also can set save automatically to true, and that will, the action will immediately save the record that you pass in with any change you've provided. Uh, if you don't set this to true, then you just want to take care of that later in your flow. <clears throat> uh, <coughs> As is usually the case, uh, you don't have to use advanced. Uh, you can just reference the object's uh, attributes automatically. Let's go take a look at the outputs. So there's basically four outputs. You get the available values in a list of strings. You get the selected values in a list of strings. You also get the selected values in the special semicolon string format that the field actually expects and requires. So you can use this if you'd want to do your own manual updating. And then you receive a Boolean value here if you asked for whether the target, if you asked to check whether a target value is selected or not, uh, that will come back here in this Boolean. So uh, good luck using this to uh, make multi-selects a little easier to work with in Flow.